<sighs> hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you for being here and i hope that you're doing well welcome in cancerian i'm gonna do a very intimate reading for you on your behalf <clears throat> i'm gonna be taking a look at your past person what they're thinking and feeling you know toward you and even as it relates to how they're feeling in general okay so let's take a look here i know i sound so tired but i feel like i can't i don't want to speak too loud <laughs> oh my gosh <clears throat> All right, Cancerians, your, your birthdays are coming up. Hmm, your past person's energy. So we have the Ace of Cups. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And this very well could be your energy. This is beautiful energy, and this could be new beginnings. It could be new beginnings with your past person. It could be new beginnings for you, new romance coming in. Ah, I feel like new love because the Ace of Cups is genuine love. It is love that cannot be taken away from you or love that is not, it's not given unto you. It's innate love. It is one that you find within yourself, one that is already instilled in you, Cancerian. So I feel like that is the kind of a blessing that you'll be receiving. It is as if the universe is handing this gift to you. Uh, 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 I feel like it, it, it could, it, it feels like it's coming from even your own heart space and it's, it's, it's coming out to you. Like this hand is coming from you, from inside of you to you. Okay. So it's something that is inside of you unto yourself. That is that kind of love I'm feeling also. I hope you feel that. Um, so, yeah, even though this is your past person's energy, let us continue to see how it picks up. We have the Eight of Cups. Now, someone might have had to leave, move off, move away from, to follow their heart's desires, to really align Cancerian. It can be beautiful energy, but it can also be where there's a separation between two people in a relationship, two people going in um, two different directions here, right? Um, I could be reading for Cancerians that have Leo energy, sun energy strongly within their birth chart. Oh my gosh, this is the third cups energy in a row for you, Cancerian. We have the Ten of Cups and they are all beautiful. So the Ten of Cups is blessings and fulfillment, happiness, new beginnings. So this could be new love for some of you, even though I'm trying to look at your past person's energy, but maybe this reading is telling me not to go there, but to focus more on what is to come because this is new energy here. I feel something brand new coming into you in love, right? It's, I feel like it is a new start. Um, this could be Cancerian energy coming into you. As I said, for some of you, this could be you aligning with a greater sense of who you are, of yourself here, of your, of yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. So this, I feel a bit of Earth energy here too. So that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It, it could be reuniting. All right. I feel like some of you are very. Um, have strong family connections here with the Ten of Cups, or this could be reuniting, or this could be you moving forward, moving away to reunite with your family, your friends. Some of you could be moving away from a situation that caused you heartbreak, but the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords energy came out in the reversal. So I feel like it is done. It is over. I feel like you have learned the lesson from this situation because what doesn't kill you make you stronger. It's that energy you build upon something that hurts you so that you can become more discerning, 
braver, more confident, more sturdy. You build your, your, your boundaries, your stability. And that's the energy I'm getting with the Three of Swords in reverse here. So you're moving past this energy. Some of you could have been dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. If this, I feel like this relation, your heart was punctured. I've, I've never felt this before about this card. But I do feel now of a very live heart. Very live, pumping, flowing. Full, full of blood, possibly of love. And I'm imagining this heart is soft and these swords just stick into it. Oh gosh, it's so... It's, it's like it's a saying that... Oh... That's something really terrible happened in your past energy in love, a broken heart, betrayal. <sighs> you were so hurt. And I'm so happy that it came out in the reverse because I feel like instead of feeling a bit like a victim, Cancerian, you're using this to grow stronger, these feelings of hurt to know who you are. And I feel like that could be the blessing that you have received from this past person's energy you know it sounds away when i say it that way <clears throat> but blessings come in many shapes and forms and most of them are for our personal development our lessons you know <laughs> sorry so most of the lessons that we go through are for our our own personal development resolution of conflict so the five of swords is normally seen as uh, an energy of conflict but but i feel like you want change from that you want to be able to look from a higher perspective as if not being always as if you are the one that is looking at the arguments that are happening on this card and you're not a part of it because you have learned how to separate yourself to, f to think from a higher perspective, even when it comes to the mental chatter or the doubts, the shame, the guilt, all that, you know, kind of low vibrational energy. I feel like you, you're, you want to move away from it. But um, because it is what you've been living and experiencing, sometimes you keep entangled within it. Um, I feel like you feel like there's more to uncover here. There are things to resolve, issues to be resolved before moving forward. But I want to say be careful of that because sometimes we tend to keep ourselves tethered to situations of the past. Cancerian, by hoping to clean stuff up before letting go and moving on, when sometimes it is okay to be free as a bird, burden free to release to move forward and sometimes concern the things that keeps us held back are our own thoughts beliefs and feelings here that's what i'm getting with the five of wands energy <clears throat> the things that we believe in that keeps us um, in defense about any particular idea or belief that we hold that needs to be cleared up Angel spirits and guides, please clarify the five of wands card. Thank you. In Cancerian's energy reading, we're looking at Cancerian's past person, and I feel like the five of wands is Cancer's aspiration. Maybe it's to really stand up for yourself. Whoa, we're getting aces out here. Oh my, we have. So much more water energy coming out, even with the deck of playing card here, Cancerian. I feel like this is amazing. This is supendous. This is beautiful. Amazing. We have the Ace of Cups, new beginnings. Um, new beginnings in love with the Ace of Cups repeated here. Definitely being affirmed that it can be a new love energy, and you definitely you just. I feel like you've turned a leaf on the past. You're looking for different things, as if your past relationships will no longer be repeated because you're on a new wave here. As if you you've turned this turned something over 
made a change for years so i feel like because it is coming from inside of you you're not looking for something externally you're connecting with your hearts You know, look at you. Look at you connecting with your heart. As if you're going through healing in yourself. And oh, it's beautiful. I do love it for you. I really hope you're here to this point because I feel it's getting so good. The reading, I'm loving it so much. <coughs> and we have the ace. Of pentacles this is our first pentacles energy and this is new beginnings in wealth abundance you know material success it could be a promotion something that elevates your financial bank account and also your your energetical bank account when you feel good inside your feelings of self-worth and value are being elevated your your esteem you're being esteemed within yourself you're beginning to know who to realize um i feel like you're beginning to realize who as if you're beginning to <clears throat> to realize who you are i feel like it's a flower that is blooming honestly that's the energy and because of this you're now unfold unfolding right so i feel like you're beginning to unfold what it feels more like blooming energy becoming who you are yes it's not that you're getting old, but I feel like the essence of you is coming out more. And it doesn't matter what age you are. Whatever age you are, your essence of you, I feel, is coming out here. So I feel like you could be doing more, practicing more of the things that you love. Getting closer to yourself. The Ace of Cups energy and the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Like This is the beautiful value in you. That is going to allow you to claim your wealth and abundance because you're seeing it within yourself first. We have, and then the two of cups energy is that similar energy of loving on yourself, making a promise to yourself. This could be you aligning with new love. I feel like this reading is telling me it's with the five of wands energy. It's saying maybe I want to stay in the past, even by asking about the past person. And that may be the conflict. So it's saying move, move forward. <clears throat> and we have the five of hearts energy here too. Which is also change. Moving forward. Moving away from. Moving toward what's good for you. What makes you feel good. Focus more on what you have to be thankful for. And what it is that you can do now. And that's the change. Step by step. Gradually. All right, Cancerian, gradually making it happen, making this change happen, all right? So take it easy on yourself. And I feel like this, is, this reading is really telling me to stay focus on you instead of this past person's energy that you're, being, you're inquiring about. You know, what for, for whatever reason you wanted to know, I feel like it is saying... You don't need to worry about that, honestly. <clears throat> we have the two of pentacles energy here for you. I feel like you're coming into financial stability and balance. And not just financial, but within your own grasp of self-worth. Intrinsically. Emotionally. Fulfilling. I feel like loving yourself even through the waves. Always... Even though the tides of life hit you, you are always sturdy and grounded. Allowing the, it's as if when you're standing in the ocean and the waves and the waves pass by you, you don't go with them all the time, right? You're able to stand there and allow the waves to come through. And that I feel like that has something to do with your money too. Maybe I feel like it is telling me that you should remain. Um, diligent in your work it feels like it is saying continue stay grounded no matter what happens what interruptions may take place in your life stay focused and don't give up don't give in and maybe that's how you come into 
receiving other streams of income for yourself here on whatever you're working on. Some of you could be moving, have left, or is inspired to move away. You're maybe dreaming of moving away if you haven't already, Cancerian. And some of you are definitely moving away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or moving moving away from, or one at one want one a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius wanting to move into you, maybe wanting to express something to you, wanting to say something. I feel like they want to say it coolly, whatever that means. Oh my, we have the devil energy showing up within your reading. I feel that it's saying, now this could be, hmm. so the devil energy is t in, um, attachments here, illusions, slow down, things that may slow you down keep you from moving forward I feel like this is your past person's energy too that you're still welcoming into your space into your and in, in, in your energy allowing it to have an effect or an influence on you uh, this is Virgo energy here as well earth sign Gemini I'm sorry earth sign Virgo Capricorn or Taurus You guys could be living with this energy, whether physically or energetically, and it may need to clear out or disintegrate. Or it's as if you're you you are trying to move forward. I feel like this is for some people. You're trying to move forward, but this energy is kind of standing in your way here and maybe that is you still thinking of this person you know and that's that's why I'm saying you have to be careful of what you're what you're aspiring for and um, maybe just leave some things behind also know that this is an illusion this energy and if you're ready to move you can sail right through it it's as if you're on the ocean and this black this cloud comes up and it's very intimidating very it feels so challenging maybe wanting to start over but you're afraid you're so afraid of, oh my gosh of moving forward you're procrastinating maybe overindulging it feels like negative toxic energy here and that you I, I feel like once you move through this cloud here with the devil energy then you will realize that all that it was a smoke screen here it's the um the wizard of oz energy with the devil card just to i'm, I'm telling you <coughs> the devil energy is that wizard of oz who, when you take the the veil down, it's nothing. It's the, it's illusions. It's just very intimidating, and it's possibly keeping you from moving forward. We're going to clarify this to see what it has to do with. Oh wow! I feel <laughs> it could be you're afraid. It could be financially something financial. Maybe not feeling financially confident right now. All right. That could be what it is with the double energy connected to our earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's clarify the double energy. <coughs> Angels, spirits, and guides, thank you so much for helping me to see through to clarify this devil's energy in Cancerian's pathway, in Cancerian's life energy. What is this devil? The ace. It feels like it's a block. 
a blockage as I said something that's literally standing in your way we have two aces some of you are, are really dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius air sign maybe air sign energy where there's a need for you to stand up for yourself move forward swiftly you know build be grounded um, know what your stability your 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 standards are be stable in your own standards to move forward you have to have a weight body meaning feel like you're not alone you have the power you know the sword to cut through any veil any smoke screen anything and just oops right through that's the energy I'm getting It's an, it is an illusion, Cancer. I know it's it's um I want to say that to you as easy as it is because you you may be dealing with it and it's very heavy for you, but I want you to see it from a perspective as it is an illusion and you can do this. All the obstacles that we face are are I feel like they are illusions. And they seem so real with it. Like, look at how intimidating this energy. When you see this energy, you feel so scared. Right? I know. <laughs> look at his eyes. I want to tell you, it is meant, to, it has to be this way. That's the energy it has to embody. All right. Let's clarify the devil energy some more for Cancerian's reading. This could also be sexual addiction, um, intoxication, desires. It could be, have a lot to do with uh, sexual energy here for some people. Deviousness. You want us to move on? <clears throat> All right. Any other messages to clarify the devil? To clarify the devil energy here in Cancerian's reading? Any other messages? Okay, nice, nice. So we have another five. You're moving on, moving forward. From the five of swords to the six of swords energy, Cancerian, you're moving forward into this change, leaving some nasty feelings behind you. I feel like if you were unsure that they are indeed nasty feelings, I'm telling you. Because it may have made you question yourself so much, whether you're wrong or right, what, what's really going on. But this energy, I feel you're about to leave behind, or you really want to. Some of you are already preparing to move through this energy. You know? yes yes so you want this new beginning with the full energy yes we have the ace of swords repeating itself you want to move away from the i'm going to do an all right from your past connection as if you need to separate yourself for real Boom. the sword is separation and remember that the sword came out to clarify the devil energy here. So I feel like it's saying separate, disconnect. And it, I feel swiftly, I hear the word enable. 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 I feel like you'll be, you do not enable something or when you move forward, you will be enabling something. You know what I'm saying? enable and we have the six of cups energy that i feel like a past person may want to come reconnect with you but you know be careful of that energy as well cancerian i feel like you'll be okay the reading ended with you really having this brand new beginning moving forward i feel like some of you really wanted to hear this message the reading began so beautiful and it's ending beautifully because we have the full card here, which is also a card of trust. I feel like having so many swords energy in a Cancerian reading is very powerful, very strong.
because this is an energy of one that speaks up for themselves, moves and acts quickly, gets things done speedily, you know, and you're having this new beginning. Remember I said you'll definitely be bursting through. You'll be going through this, charging through this energy here. Whatever illusion or delusion is, it is, you have been going through it and you've come out on the other side. You don't know what's there and maybe that's what kept you very fearful because you don't know what's on the other side with the full energy. But you do come out into this new beginning on life, taking it easy, taking it slow, being more grounded and firm for yourself, even reaching out more to who you are, doing the things that you love, going out, treating yourself, going out and even buying yourself flowers just because i feel like that's the energy you feel more happy more light-hearted it's good it's really good energy for you cancerian thank you for watching i hope you found messages here that are able to inspire you or help guide you along your journey remember to subscribe to my channel for future messages and like and share my video with those that you love thank you so much all of your support is greatly appreciated remember cancerian that you are all and all is within you much love to you take care so i'll see you next time